I didn't see one negative about Antonio Pierce. He was a lot of fun. I thought it was great the way Sal and Richard were busting his balls. I told Antonio to go answer some phones. Because, I mean, what are you going to have Antonio Pierce do to learn the business? And I even loved, on the wrap-up show, Antonio Pierce, they asked him, what was the... You know, what was the easiest thing you had to do as an intern? Uh -huh. This is a great answer. Wait, I'm going to play it for you. Uh, let's see. You know, with these pages. Gary, page one. It's Gary, page two, in orange, in the far right column. Thanks. All right, listen to this. This is good. Today, you were interning. You got to answer phones. You got to direct the show. You did a bunch of different things. What was the easiest thing you had to do? And what was the toughest thing you had to do? Honestly, once I, I learned how to do the cameras, the directing the show, <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. To me, that was easy. <laughs> directing the show was easy. You know, pressing four, oh, yeah. five, and six, looking at the cameras. Hey, you talk, you press five. Robin talk, press four. Put it back on Howard. <laughs> I thought that, that was easy. Scott DePace, our director, was so pissed. <laughs> His head is exploding. Yeah, he came in and he goes, what are you talking about? Don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he goes, uh, uh, doing Gary's job is so much easier than mine. He goes, no, it's not. Gary's got to like talk to a lot of people, make yeah. sure stuff's on the air. Scott didn't like that at all. <laughs> but they were busting his balls good. So we had him answering the phones in case you missed that one. I got to play that again real quick. Let's see. They, here's uh, Sal and Richard. Stern Show. Hi, great show. Yes, how you doing? How, how you? are you? I'm good. How's the weather out there? Weather's warm, 75 degrees in New York City. I've got irritable bowel syndrome. When am I going to stop shitting? So you and I, Howard, when are you going to stop shitting? You are correct, sir. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Do you mind if I change the subject for a moment? Please do. Spit on my cock. Uh, that's your question? Please squirt your watermelonly cum juice. Impressive. Uh, any other questions you have for Howard? I love a hot load on my face. Any other questions? Keep talking. I'm gonna come, black boy. I'm. I'm. This is not. I'm not. Actually, sir, I'm not black. I'll give you a bucket of chicken for a hand job. Actually, sir, I'm. Uh, I'm not black. I'm Hispanic. Oh my! Can I suck your cock? All right, sir. Call back when you got a question. Thank you. He handled that great. You didn't hear this, did you? <laughs> so then they called him back. All right. Stern Show. Hello? Yes, Howard Stern Show. How can I help you? Yeah, I want to talk to Howard. Yeah, what's your question? <laughs> I want to I want to fix the start. You got, we got to get you some better service. I can't, I can't hear you. No, I said I said I wanted to ask him if he wants to dance with the stars. <laughs> Does he want to dance with the stars? No, I said did he see the stars on the uh, This call, uh, your, your, your signal must be bad. What? Who is this? This is the intern. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Intern. I know what I'm doing, but I can't hear you. All right, I'll call back. Okay, go ahead. Stern Show. How you going there, man? Excuse me? I've been in operation, let's say, like uh, three, like maybe two months back. Okay, what's the question you have for Howard? <laughs> yeah, one little, one little pretty one, you know what I mean? You want a pretty what? I got hung up on one of those doggone Chrysler automobile. I couldn't stop it. Okay, so you want to you want to ask Howard how you stop a motorcycle? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Yeah, you know, a, a man is like showing who's the tougher and the best. You know what I mean? Do you want to show him who's the tough and the best? Yes. Okay, so ask Howard how do you stop a motorcycle and the, <laughs> who's the toughest and the best? Yes. Okay, hold on one second. <laughs> oh. Hello, hello. <laughs> yes, yes, how can I help you? You know, Time Magazine last year had a, a whole article that yeah. said gay teens, generally, uh, homosexuality isn't a big thing. <laughs> yes, is that the question for Howard? Now, do you, uh, do you know that this is America? Yes, we do. You weren't listening to me. Okay, what, 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 what's your thing? What's your well, question? you're, you're awfully disrespectful, aren't you? No, sir, what is your question? And now things are going bad in, uh, in Afghanistan. The Taliban has come back. They're coming back, is that your question? You want to know how we can stop the Taliban from coming back? Yes. Okay, I'm going to put that to Howard one second. Just hold on, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're on hold. We play that. 
<laughs> he can gay up any word. That's Howard. That's the office phone and whatever Sirius is playing. They go. They scroll through the channel. So whatever oh. playing. Okay. Taliban is like a real ugly, Taliban. 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 But that's great. Isn't that a great bit? That's awesome. I just love it. On the wrap-up show, he said that he got wind of it because they just called from the caller ID number. Yeah. The same every yeah, time. But, but, go, they, how did you figure it out? Here's what he said. At what point did you realize those guys were messing with you on the phones? The voice has never changed. And then the caller ID, the same number kept popping up. I don't know if I was, <laughs> I don't know if I was dumb or what. Shrewd. I'm like, hold on, this is the same number every time possible. And my phone was the only one ringing. Right.